It hurts so bad. Back at home forever. We moved out. We broke up. Be very, very quiet. Shh. It's like we have a social life. It's I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I also got this pack of earrings from Target. Hey guys, we are in the car right now. This is probably the first time I've actually even seen you for more than like five minutes at a time this week, huh? This is the first time I've gotten out of the house this week, and it's Thursday already. So, Carly's had to borrow my car all week, which I briefly mentioned on my Instagram story. And I know people were asking, like, what's the deal with Carly's car? Well, all of a sudden, the brake light, or, like, her emergency brake, the light was on. And now it keeps making this, like, ding, ding, like... The noise, it just goes non-stop. What noise? Like that dinging noise. I'm telling you that your emergency brake is on. Oh. She's been taking a car to dance, what, yesterday? And the day before. And the day before, so Tuesday, Wednesday, she has to take it today, and then she's done with dance. This is just like a week-long summer session, so how's dance been? It's just been a lot to go back like full blown like I don't know it's just very intense yeah well every day they've had like different instructors there from like other studios and stuff uh, just teaching like different styles so it's been a lot of hard work and you haven't danced for what probably two months <laughs> so she's got her last thing of dance tonight and Ken right now is at the store. I should have told him to film. He's actually picking out some stuff for our basement, um, some barn doors. We got our floor the other day. I will show you guys that. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Throw it. Throw it far All right, guys. We so we got this floor for our basement gym that should hopefully be done in the next couple years. <laughs> Move out by the time that I jump in the can. Huh? Come over here. I'm coming. What are they in the pond? Three, two, who? <laughs> Toby, what are you doing? Come here. <laughs> Rolling around in the grass. Come on, Pippa, let's go. So these are actually horse barn stall flooring, right? Fraction of the cost of rubber matting. Yeah, they're I think like forty-three dollars a piece or something like that. But you got a discount. They were forty-seven ninety-nine, but I priced checked at another place forty-three ninety-nine, and it gave me the bulk five percent discount, so I didn't pay tax. Nice. Yeah. So we have twenty-eight of them. Three. They're Two, six foot one. by four foot. How are you gonna get these all inside? That's weird. I know, isn't that gonna not be fun? Are you gonna cut them into the corners and stuff? Yeah, yeah, we kind of got it figured out. So actually, this is the bottom of the floor. This is what the top looks like, but we think we're gonna lay it like this. So the it's floor, yeah, because otherwise we're gonna have like, we're gonna try to keep the dogs out of that area, but there's still dog hair on our clothes and stuff. You're gonna have hair. Stuck in those little circles and the grooves. Three. We just two, kind of feel like one. this will work better. So we're making progress. Our drywall should be done within the next week. Then we have to paint. Then we have to lay the wood floor. So I don't know. How do you? How would you say life feels now that you're like the only one at home? Like, does everything feel different to you lately compared to like say six months ago? No. No. Come on, you're literally hanging out in Blake's bedroom every night. So that's obviously different. Well, yeah, it's different, but I don't feel different. No. Every day this week, Carly has had friends over in her in uh, her trap room. <laughs> so Ken actually found barn doors. He thought he was going to build them with this wood that we have, but he found ones that were already stained gray at Menard's. So here's the uh, details, just in case you were interested. See what it'll look like? 
Just kind of like our barn door and our kitchen. I'll show you down in the basement where he's gonna put those. Oh, so this is just the bracket. And this is the handle with a rectangle, kind of like more modern style. So I do this all the time. Well, not all the time. Make a suggestion of something that we can do. And then I end up so tired, I really regret offering up this suggestion. Oh my God, look. Yeah, for yacht again. I still need to shower from after my workout, which speaking of, this is the first time I got on the treadmill and ran for a minute and a half without stopping, which sounds so like really candy. But I am not a runner. I'm sure at points in my life, I <laughs> ran for a minute and a half without stopping before. Not any long, long time that has not happened. Hey, are you eating or are you playing? Because I was gonna feed you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Really? This is what we're doing? They're like toddlers. Look at his little tail. Max wants to eat. We all know Pippa wants to eat because she's Pippa the pig. There's a bee. Oh my gosh, they're knocking me over. So, I just got done with dance and I literally had to put Biofreeze which is almost like icy hot, it's literally the same thing, all up my leg right here. Because I think I tore a muscle, like literally like right here. And it's so painful, I actually was laying on the ground. Someone had like this little massager thing, and they were like pushing it like right here, and it hurt so bad. But yeah, I took a warm shower, and I didn't wash my hair today, but Courtney's here, and I'm just waiting for my other friends to come over, but gosh, I had dance every day this week. I can't even cough or laugh because it hurts my like abs so much. My calf muscles hurt, like I can't even like, oh, that this is like the most painful thing I could do right now is do like a squat. But yeah, I'm just literally in so much pain. Here's my cute little outfit for the night, but God. But BioFreeze actually really helps. I've literally been like, walking like this like everywhere I go <laughs> and I like probably a little crazy but yeah I'm just in like a lot of pain right now I I almost dropped one of my rings down the sink but um I'm actually sad that dance is over because I was excited so hey it's Chase I'm back at home forever we moved out we broke up but we're just hanging out well, we, we just out. we just came over to work out, and we took not Dax. He's so upset about it. Well, we took Tucker for a walk, oh, and he's all wet because we dumped water on his head because he was hot. But we just wanted to pop in and say hey. Stop it! Well, my parents are working out right now downstairs, and oh, what is this? What are you doing? I don't know. But we're leaving for the day. Just thought I'd give you an update. We're gonna be here every Tuesday and Thursday working out now, I guess. Show how jacked I am. Yep, Asha did five, or she did 20 pound bench press, or 20 on each side. Or no, 10 on each yeah. side. No, I think it was 15. No, it was two fives. No, you added two more, remember? You lied. No, there was a, a five. You added another thing. Yeah, it's 20, 10 on each side. There's two fives on each side. Oh. Silly. Can't do math. It's been out of school for too long. Alright. See ya. Hey guys, so we decided today to do a little golfing. I haven't golfed in how long? <laughs> I don't know. A long time. <laughs> many, many years. I actually You're doing I good. like it. I'm just not very good at it. Actually, you're doing pretty 
doing way better than I am. Okay, so I'm doing better than Ken today, but it's just beginner's luck. This is how it always works out. I usually start out decent and then just get worse, and uh, Ken will get better. That ball's gone. I don't see the ball. I did the same thing, exact thing. All right, here she is. Tiger Woodress. Candy Woods. Like that, right? Yep, move closer to the ball though. I know, I'm, this is my practice. Okay. Thing. Like this. Yep. If I think this is like an on camera, it would be pretty impressive. <laughs> oh. oh! Look at that though. It's for par, all you camera watchers. <laughs> there it is. Oh, the crowd cheers. Huh? This is for par. This is your third hit. Just hey. like the pros do? Yeah, there you go. Oh, you gotta hit oh, it. Oh, I didn't want to pass it. See, you got me all psyched out. Oh, because I said the word par? No, because you said my muscles were too strong. That was an hour ago. Yes, yes, jeez. Oh, Tap it in. Watch the pro at action. He used to golf with Tiger Woods back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's got a Tiger Woods hat on. They're actually related. Whoa, a little too up. Oh, that's gone. Right in the tree. Muscles. Actually, you probably should use a lesser club. Would you use a five? Yeah. Could have probably used an eight. I asked you. I didn't know you were going to hit it that well. <laughs> so how would you say our first golf outing of 2021 went? It's not my first, but it was fun. It was a good how time. How would you rate my golfing? I thought you did very well. On a scale of one to ten. Um, I'll you give you an answer? eight. No way. Yep. An eight. That was eight. That's we very, need it should be a ten. You're being really kind. Oh, I think that's good. I thought you did a good job. That's good. It could have been way worse, Katie. You haven't golfed in forever. I would rate myself a four point eight. <laughs> and I would rate you seven point three. Oh, oh crap, I'm at seven. <laughs> Look at that sun. Beautiful. All right guys, so it is Friday night and we're going out. This is my outfit. Just some capris, some sandals that I got from DSW and a new shirt from Marisa's, although I think I've worn this one other time so far. I don't know if I'm dressed appropriately or not for where we're going, but uh, we're going to this like, I don't know, I call it a parking lot party. It's like downtown Toledo at the Toledo Club. Some friends of ours invited us and some other friends will be there as well. So it should be fun. Carly's out running around in my car. I'm not very happy. I told her she could run to Target and back and I'm pretty sure she's been gone about, oh, an hour and a half, which I get it. You could be at Target that long, but I have a feeling there's more going on than just Target. So I'm sure she will uh, share with you guys what she's been up to or where she went or what she bought when she gets home. Oh, here's something funny that I said. So there's like a Fleetwood Mac tribute band that's gonna be there. I'm like, yeah, we can't afford the real Fleetwood Mac. We have to 
see a tribute band, but I was just joking. Like, I don't even know if Fleetwood Mac even still performs. And I think I only know probably like two Fleetwood Mac songs anyways, but doesn't matter. It's gonna be fun, something to do. And I think we're going out and doing something fun tomorrow night too. So it's like, we have a social life. It's, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> this is what happens when you have more free time and only one kid living at home. So me and Courtney just got back from Target. So I wanted to do a little haul and show you guys what we got. So first up, which I already used one, as you can tell I'm literally not even wearing makeup right now, but I got these little makeup remover like little singles. Like, so recently I keep running out of makeup wipes like literally all the time. And I just never have makeup wipes on me or I never even have like a pack at my house or anything like that. So I got a pack, but I also got these little single ones so I can like keep some in my purse. So if I am somewhere, like I'll literally just have like one single makeup wipe on me. Then I got a new mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. I probably pronounced that so wrong. But every time I go to Target, I like to just get a random brand new mascara and Courtney recommended this one to me. So I'll let you guys know how this one goes. And then I just got a powder foundation because I feel like it would be a lot easier to use than liquid foundation because recently I haven't been using liquid foundation as much and I feel like it, this would just be really nice to put under my eyes. I feel like it would go on easier and have more like coverage. So never used this either. So I will let you guys know how it goes. Then I got this pack of earrings, and I also got this pack of earrings from Target. Um, there was like multiple in there, but I think I left them in my room because they're not in this bag, and I already like kind of opened up some things and stuff. But yeah, these are the earrings, and I had, I think I took it out, but I had like a little like um, fake cartilage piercing up here too that came in that pack. And it was really cute and now I want to get my cartilage pierce. The last thing I got is this top. So Courtney found this top. It was literally the last one left and it was in a bra size. And I was like, dang, that's my bra size. And I was like, I can't pass up on that opportunity. But I also have this in blue and I got it in like this one size. I don't remember what size I even got it in, but it's like a little bit too small. But like, I think the top is really cute. So that's why I was like, the green is so cute, but I was also really upset because there was no matching bottoms, but I feel like I could easily order them online or something like that. But first, I just want to try on the top and see if it even fits me before I obviously go buy the bottoms. But but that is all I got from Target. We kind of just went at like a really random time. Like Courtney had just woke up and we were like, let's go to Target. So we went to Target, but that is all we got. Mostly just like beauty products and stuff like that. I mean, most of the time, what else do I even get at Target? Like, I feel like I always just, like, go and get, like, new products to try out and stuff like that. So, that's it.